security of supply through our, our partners multiple ways. So one of the things is putting in the supply agreements or contract in place, and that in itself is security of supply. Another example in terms of ensuring security of supply is putting together quality terms. So acceptance and rejection is the basic example, or manufacturing terms, delivery terms, lead time, so that the partner understands what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, and how it's going to happen. And from the internal uh, support structure that we have with the additional stakeholders, they also understand who the internal partners are that are working with them in the background. The most important thing is conveying the rights to use our products in a commercial manner that they plan to, to develop. So an example of, let's say, the kit production of an oncology uh, diagnostic partner who wants to use our products in their oncology test, we convey the rights to use our qPCR reagent, as an example, in the test that they plan to take to market, whether it's CEIVD or through the FDA. They have the sense of security that they have the commercial rights to use our products in the manner that they plan to use. Another way that we ensure security of supply is through quality terms that so we can put together acceptance rejection criteria so a partner can understand what do they do in terms of receiving a lot or the delivery times, the shipment times. So all of the expectations of how the product will be ordered when the product will be received is understood up front. And we do our best through our global infrastructure to make sure that we support and meet the terms that have been set forth between both parties. So we have various sites all over the world. An example is Pleasanton, California is our center of excellence for oligo manufacturing. We have in Singapore our center of excellence for qPCR instrumentation manufacturing. Our center of excellence for molecular biology is in Vilnius, so Lithuania. We have manufacturing sites in China, in Japan, also multiple countries within Europe, as well as the United States. So again, it's, it's a quite extensive network in terms of global manufacturing capabilities, anywhere from reagents to um, organic materials to instrumentation. And the instrumentation is quite broad in terms of the type of instrumentation that's manufactured. And then lastly, another example of ensuring security of supply is working with our respective partners to put together the right pricing strategy and the pricing structure that will best complement their needs and, and assurance of supply.